For this experiment, you're going to be using two mixing bowls. So let's label them so that we don't mix them up. Label one glue mix and label the other one borax mix. Now, take a moment to put on your gloves to protect your hands. And now you're ready. Let's start with our borax mix bowl. Take a tablespoon measure and measure two tablespoons of warm water into the borax mix bowl. There. Now, with your half teaspoon measure, measure some of the borax powder into your bowl. Half teaspoon. Now with another spoon, mix that water and powder until that white powder is dissolved. This will take a while. Don't be afraid to experiment. If you mix a little bit more borax into the water, the end result will not be a polymer ball, but it'll be silly putty. Still quite fun. Once that's dissolved, you're going to take your tablespoon measure again, and now we're going to work with a glue mix bowl. Carefully measure one tablespoon of glue. Now we chose to use white glue, which is going to create an opaque ball, or a ball that you can't really see through. If you choose to use clear glue, you will be creating a transparent ball. Now that you've measured out a full tablespoon of glue, go ahead and put that in your glue bowl. You can scoop it out with your finger, making sure you get as much of it out as possible. A little bit messy, but that's why we're wearing the gloves. Now once that's done, you're going to take some food coloring. Add five to six drops depending on how much color you want in your ball. More drops make a darker color. This is also where you would add your sparkles if you wanted to. Now at this point, you're going to take your borax solution and you're going to measure half a teaspoon of your borax solution into your glue mix. Then you're going to take your cornstarch and you're going to measure one tablespoon of cornstarch into your glue mixture. Once you've done that, you're going to let it sit for about 10 to 12 seconds. Give a little time for the chemistry to happen between these ingredients. And after you've let it sit for 10 to 12 seconds, you're going to take a spoon and you're going to very carefully mix the ingredients in the glue mix bowl together. Try to get that powder off the side of the bowl. And keep mixing until it becomes too hard to mix. And once you think it's too hard to mix those ingredients together with a spoon, you're going to pick it up with your hands and keep rolling it with your hands into a ball. Now as you're rolling it in your hands into a ball, you want to make sure that it's fairly firm. You're pressing hard enough to roll it into a nice sphere. Of course, the rounder it is, the better it will roll. 